is Camille, and today I want to do a song that my cousin recommended that I do. I was in California for about a month, and my cousin, he's never been able to fully talk and get his mind to communicate with his mouth, but he's so funny, and he, and he does all these hand gestures and these different sounds, and sometimes he'll be able to sound out some words. Uh, but he showed me this song on YouTube, and he wanted me to do it for you guys and for my YouTube channel. So this is called All in All, and he showed me how he just cries whenever he listens to it, and he said he just drops to his knees, and he just comes showing me how he cries and drops to his knees. I thought, wow, this is one of my favorite worship songs too. And I thought, how amazing that the anointing of the Lord just carries in some songs when they're truly like, they're truly about the Lord and, and um, the heart of God. So I think this one really captures that. This is called All in All. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I see. Thank you. I love that song. And this morning, I'm so happy. I'm back in Branson, uh, Branson, Missouri. I just love it here. My sister got married in February. And so this is the first time I've ever lived alone and on my own. And it's just a really amazing season that I'm in right now. And so I'm back to being able to spend time in the morning. It's not that I couldn't when I was gone, but whenever you're traveling and with people a lot, um, your schedule changes. And so you really have to like fight for that time with the Lord a lot more unless you get up really early, which currently I don't. But anyhow, I was reading through um, 1 Samuel, actually, I felt the Lord lead me to that. And it's just like filling my spirit. And so one of the um, spiritual habits I have uh, added in my life is I try to read around five chapters a day. One of my friends uh, got me going on that, which I thought was a great, uh, just awesome, actually. And so it takes a little bit to like work up to five chapters, but then once you get going on it, um, sometimes I'll read 10 chapters and then sometimes I'll go, uh, if I'm, you know, busy traveling, whatever, I won't get as much word in and it's so sad. But anyway, so... It all, it all kind of works out in the end. If you just keep pursuing the Lord and don't beat yourself up uh, when you follow a habit. You know, my friend also said, um, just when you, when you get off the train, sometimes you just re-sign up the next day. I thought that was a great, uh, a great way to put it. And I shared that with someone else recently. They said, that is so good. Yeah, re-sign up. Because we're not supposed to live under condemnation with the Lord. We are in a relationship with the Lord, and He's always loving us and drawing us and pulling us, and, and He's also trying to get us away from sin and from anything that um, would distract us and destroy our lives, really, and um, sin separates us from God, and also sin makes us want to push away from God, makes us want to push away from people. Anytime you're, like, isolating away from everybody, uh, like I am in this little cabin, just kidding. No, I'm not isolating. I have people, I talk to people all the time, whatever, but, like, and people come visit me, which is so nice, and I leave. Anyway, so I'm not isolating, but I am by myself. Anyways, when you're pushing away from everyone, it's not a healthy thing, and so um, sometimes something is uh, wrong. And so, and I've had, and sometimes you're just emotionally wrong, you know? 
Anyways, uh, and I've, the Lord has healed me so much over the years. And really, God wants to heal our identity and put our identity in Him and not in what anybody else thinks about us and not in what we're doing for the Lord or not doing enough for the Lord or for whatever or for success. Or like God wants us to be completely restful and have peace in Him, accepting who He made us because when you accept who God made you, you can accept who God made other people and also you can accept people while they're in their process while you realize that you're in your process. So it can be like the, the Bible says, not take the log out of your own eye so you can see the speck in somebody else's eyes. So I am just excited about the Lord and if you just want to go deeper in God, just get into the Word. Set aside like 30 minutes of phone free time with God or that's like the minimum, like an hour, two hours, whatever. Like Just set a time away. From, from the crowd with the Lord daily and then like I said just re-sign up if you miss it or if it's even if you just get a little bit of time just a few minutes with the Lord to just focus your mind on him focus your heart on him and then just throughout the day just like check in with them talk to him thank him praise him don't let bad evil things come out of your mouth and agreeing with the devil um you know whether it's about other people whether it's about yourself whether it's you know you just someone said Terrysville Floyd said um when uh, you say something, finish it to know if you actually believe with what, if you're agreeing with what's coming out of your mouth, finish it with, you know, like, I feel so, you know, I don't know, whatever today, and that's just the way I like it, you know, so finish with that's just the way I like it, or, and I just thought that's a great thing, you know, and I'll never get ahead, and that's just the way I like it, because you will have the things that you say. Anyways, that's a little devotional, maybe this will end up being like a worship song and devotional, but, um, I just think, like, everything comes back down to spending time with the Lord, um, getting in His Word, spending time in prayer. I try to read the Bible through every year, so that's a really good um, thing to do. Either listen through it, read through it. I'm reading through it right now versus listening, so I'm getting a lot more out of it. But you're always going to get amazing things out of the Word of God, listening to it. And also just when you, like, read the Word and you invest the time in God, you don't always get your answers to your prayers answered right then when you want it. But in the day or in the weeks to come, all of a sudden, just something will just hit your mind. God will just do something. God will arrange circumstances through life that will be amazing. And so just keep investing into that, uh, into that relationship with God. It's like your garden, you know. Just keep weeding the things out that are bad and keep putting, you know, water and nutrients, fertilizer in your garden and get it on life. You know what I mean? Like your heart is like a garden. And so you got to keep the bad things out, keep the good things uh, going in, and which is... God's presence and also the other thing that's so important is um, to get godly counsel and to have people around you um, that you know hear from the Lord and because God's not just going to tell you something um, God is often going to confirm it through the people around you and so I found that in my life sometimes I was making a big life decision and I, I said wait a second I need to get counsel I need to get wisdom and give and give things time and so and the Lord showed me, you know, and he's so good. And we don't always like what he says, but we can trust what he says and what he's doing. And closed doors are good doors because you want God's open doors and you want what God wants um, instead of what you want. So because ultimately what he wants for you, you will be happy with. So um, thank you guys for following along on my YouTube channel. You can find my blog at CamilleJournal.com, my music at Camille and Haley. I'm going to probably start a Patreon for Camille Harris, so if you want to support me to sing and speak and be clean entertainment, um, cool, that'd <laughs> be great, uh, and I don't know what else, but I'll be back soon with some more worship songs or random thoughts or political thoughts or health thoughts or who knows what else, just thoughts or maybe some memes or something. Mwah. See ya. God bless you. Bye-bye.